Hi, welcome to Bagels and Baubles. My name is Lori and I am a knitter and a crocheter and a mom of four kids living in Southern California. And I began crocheting about six years ago before I had my fourth child. And about a year after that, I learned how to knit. And I, I tend to like knitting much more than I like crocheting. I like both, but once I learned to knit, I just really enjoy the way a knit stitch looks and the stretch you get on the fabric. And I've been pretty much addicted to it ever since. I'm found knitting in my car at stoplights. I've actually gotten pulled over by a policeman that thought I was texting and I was ripping apart a sock I had knitted. And uh, he pulled me over and he thought I was and I said, sorry sir, I'm actually uh, ripping apart a sock here. He let me go pretty quick after that. I think you had a little laugh that night about that incident. These are my puppies here. This is Ruby and this is Penny here. Ruby is six years old. Part of my inspiration for the name Beagles and Bobbles and Penny is five years old. I love knitting with them when they're sitting up on the couch with me with my little knitting box close by and sitting in the living room when it's nice and quiet after all the kids go to bed and sitting there having some quiet time with the pups. It's nothing else like that. So let me show you what I'm working on right now. This is one of the reasons I wanted to start my knitting podcast, just to kind of share things I'm doing and find some inspiration. I love watching the knitting podcasts and listening to what they're making and then I hop onto Ravelry and I get the pattern myself if I like what they're working on. Um, this is a simple vanilla sock, which I tend to do a lot of times, uh, one by one ribbing. This is Bumblebee Acres yarn. Um, and you can see this beautiful ball right here. Um, it's one of my recent things I picked up. Uh, there's a little candy corn stitch marker. Maybe I can get a little bit closer to you there. I usually have my little knitting bag right here in my purse. Um, that way I can always whip it out when I have a little extra time waiting for my kids to get out from school. I have a 16 year old that goes to high school, a 13 year old that's in eighth grade, and a 10 year old, almost 11 year old that's in elementary school. Um, and now my, my youngest is gonna be six in November and he started kindergarten this year. So there's a lot of sitting around waiting in the car time. Um, also, let me show you, this is, uh, shoot, I forgot one of my sweaters upstairs. This is my first sweater I made. This is by, um, it's the Flax Cardigan by Tin Can Knits. Um, this is made out of some worsted weight yarn from Knit Picks. Nice chunky yarn. It went pretty fast, but honestly I had to knit this thing two times because the first time I made it, I had like a big boob on the side right here where I had accidentally made it too large. And I like this cardigan, I like the way it looks, but um, it slips off my shoulders. And I thought it was something I had done wrong and then I, I've heard multiple people on YouTube talk about how they've made this cardigan and the same thing happened. So I go back and forth on if I want to frog it and use it for something else, but it's a really nice cozy, cozy sweater to just throw on over something. Um, this is the second sweater I made. This is a flax, or did I say flax? Gosh, I'm forgetting. Um, flax pullover by Tim Knits. And I like this detail that it has uh, on the side here. Thought that was kind of neat. I'm not too fond of this green, I think, on me. I like it. Uh, I like the color in general. It's just a very dark, dark green. Um, and it's starting to get some balling going on on this. Uh, so I might get a gleaner, I think it's called, so I can take care of some of that before I wear it for this season. But 
this one has a really nice fit to it. It's nice and cozy, and I've worn it when we go camping. We enjoy going camping with our kids, and we used to have a camper, but it just got too expensive to pay for monthly, so we sold it, and we've been doing tent camping the last couple years with the kids, and we really enjoy going out to the lake and going fishing and sitting around at the campfire, having some drinks and just relaxing. So here's this one here. And this is a pretty simple, simple pattern to follow. I might, if I do it again, I might do it without this detail here on the sides, just to change it up, just do it regular, because this takes a little longer to do. Um, so I do like this one, it's really nice. Okay, this, I have to say, is one of the worst disasters because I made this Anchors cardigan by Petite Knit, and I was so proud of this sweater. Maybe I can pop a picture into the video to show you. It fit perfect, and I've worn it, geez, I wore it probably like six or seven times, and then I don't know if, if I did it or if one of the kids threw it in the dryer or something, but it's totally, totally ruined. It got completely felted. And so I've actually purchased some more yarn, the same exact yarn, which is a little bit pricey for my birthday. Uh, the gloss yarn from Knit Picks, the DK weight. And this is a really nice soft yarn. And maybe somebody knows out there why um, this happened to me. Uh, this yarn is merino wool and 30% silk. If it has something to do with what this yarn is made of. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about that, but I loved it so much just the way it is. So I'm going to remake this sweater. And this is something I'm almost done with right now that I'm super happy about, but I ran out of yarn and I've actually run out of yarn twice on this uh, sweater and had to reorder from Knit Picks. And I can't say that I will only knit with Knit Picks yarn. I definitely have purchased a lot of other um, sock yarns from other companies, the fingering weights. Um, but I'm just not sure. There's so many different uh, yarn dyers now. I'm not sure who to pick from. I definitely love a lot of the yarns I see. Um, Homespun House has some beautiful yarn, but she's far away in Germany there. And I don't, I don't know if that'd be very cost effective for me to order all the way from Germany. Um, yeah, so I want to definitely experiment with some different yarns besides knit picks. Uh, I've been pretty successful since I've been watching YouTube and I've won a few different giveaways. Um, I won some yarn from Roberta Ray Fiber that was beautiful. Um, I just won some more yarn from another podcaster I listened to. Uh, goodness, I wish I could remember at the moment what her name is, but she sent me some beautiful sock yarn. Um, I also won from Marley Bird when I did uh, her first sweater knit along. Uh, it's a beautiful pink sweater. I wish I would have brought it downstairs to show y'all, to show you another time. Um, this is the pattern for the, the sweater. Oh, I was talking about this. I forgot what I was talking about. Um, it is called uh, Hidden Pocket Steeped Knit Cardigan. And Marley Bird is doing it with yarn inspirations. And it's actually, um, I'm gonna do my first steek here on this sweater. She has some really neat details on this sweater with the thumb holes here um, that she's placed. I don't think I'm gonna do it on mine um, just because I actually had already purchased this yarn previously and it's not the softest yarn uh, from Knit Picks. It's kind of a cheaper yarn, but I love the color of the, the tweed in it and I think it's such a good neutral that's gonna go with so many things. And I love the detailing of the cables. Um, there's just a cable on each side of the arm here. And this is raglan construction. And this is the steaking panel. So I'm really curious to see how that's gonna go. Um, all I have to do so far is finish this sleeve and then, um, and then sew in these pockets. See, she's had us knit these pockets, which are really interesting. I've never knitted pockets before in a sweater. Um, so then uh, I'm gonna add some stitches on either side of this sticking panel and cut down it and somehow make the uh, sticking happen there. So I'm excited about that. Um, 
this yarn here, um, the Alpaca Cloud from Knit Picks, I've ordered this because my oldest son, who's 16, has been asking me to make him a vest. And uh, I wish I had the pattern to show you as well on that. I've left the book in my car that is actually in the shop. Um, but it's a schoolboy pullover, I believe it's called. Uh, British schoolboy pullover. And it's a beautiful pattern, has a little bit of uh, cabling down the front. Uh, it's pretty simple, but just the detail of the cabling. And it's gonna be in this beautiful blue yarn that is really soft. And this yarn, um, it's DK weight, Kirsten. It's 100% baby alpaca. So yeah, I'm a little nervous about the felting happening to my stuff now uh, that I had that happen on my other sweater. So I think I'm gonna have to take more care. Um, so yeah, I was excited to get my first podcast going, introduce myself. My name is Lori, uh, Beagles and Bobbles in Southern California. I hope you like my podcast. I definitely enjoy sharing my knitting. Uh, I take it everywhere I go. If I'm, if I'm not too busy at work, I'm knitting on something at my desk and I have the Instagram uh, Beagles and Bobbles up and I love posting pictures of my current works in progress and I love watching all of the fellow YouTuber podcasts out. i um, excited about Halloween coming up with my four kids, especially my kindergartner. I've got my mantle decked out. This is where I usually sit and do my knitting, my little spot there. Um, that's a little blanket I'm working on there with crochet, but not making too much progress. I definitely have found that I love doing garment knitting. Oh, I need to go over and grab my little uh, cowl that I made from Hokey Locatelli. One moment. So this is one of my favorite things I've made so far. And I definitely would like to make another one of these. Um, this is a pattern by Hoagie Locatelli. I'll have to link it below. This pattern was so fun. It went pretty quick. Um, it is fingering weight, um, but I love the, the lace detailing here. You can see a little bit of lace and that was the first time I've done lace before. So that was really fun for me to dive into that. Um, and the little um, yarn overs that make these interesting little holes. And then I love the, the way that it changes. Like if I put it on like this, you can see this side. It looks different to me than if I do it this way. So yeah, this is a really fun pattern by Hohi. I'd like to make another one some different colors just to give it a variety to my wardrobe. Well, thank you for tuning in. It's nice to meet all of you. Until next time. Say bye, pups. They're snoozing over here. Let's see Ruby. Oh, can't barely see her head. Let's see. She likes her belly rubs. See, bye bye. <coughs> Whoa. <laughs> Next time.